NSFW, people of Reddit, what was the stupidest thing your horniness made you do? 13 year old me jacked off with toothpaste. Zero stroke 10 dentists recommend. I know this guy who ducked an orange once. In like the 6th grade this mf was so horny he put a whole ass orange in the microwave and proceeded to go to town on that shti. After he was finished he lobbed it into his neighbor's yard and went on with his night. Mster baited in the same bed that my friends were sleeping in at a slumber party. Crashed a car speeding through the snow to get laid. Dashing through the snow. With a one eyed open snake. There was a lot of junk in my house when I was younger. I think I was 12 or 13 and wanted to know what having sx was like so I found this thing. I think it was a part of a light fitting or something. Either way it was round and had a hole at each end. A cylinder with no ends. Basically. My teenage brain said that the tube was too small to put my erect penis in. So the sensible thing to do would be to stuff it in flaxseed. Then get hard when I'm already in. This turned out. To the surprise of nobody. To be a ducking horrible idea. The more erect I became. The more it constricted my penis and the more erect I became. I tried just pulling it off but it was on there fast. I went to the bathroom and ran cold water on my penis to try and make it go down. I hoped. On that day. That I had not learned what sx was like. Cursed Chinese finger trap. Edit. Holy shti this blew up. I made a stupid comment. Went to bed. And woke up to 40 awards. Thanks. Msturbated so frequently with such force I gave myself sores and blisters which I had to see a doctor about. Didn't see the doctor. Too embarrassed. Got infected. Really had to see a doctor. Was less embarrassing than I had imagined. I used to share a room with my younger brother. We had bunk beds and I was on the top bunk. One night I drenched my piece in Vaseline and went to town cause I thought he was sleeping. I heard him say something so I grabbed the railing of my bed and leaned over. My hands were covered in Vaseline so I slipped off the railing and fell naked onto his bed with Vaseline covered hands and a boner. Edit. The top bunk was horizontal and the bottom bunk was vertical. Drove an hour to a girl's house. Only to be met there by her husband pointing a gun to my face at the door. I had no idea she was with anyone. Let alone married. I explained to the guy that there was no way I'd have risked it going there if I knew she was married. And he believed me. I got in my car and raced it all the way back to the freeway. I tried to jack off after cutting hot peppers. I'd forgotten washing your hands doesn't get rid of capsaicin. What does? A guy from work just drove 4 hours round trip to see a girl he met on a dating site that was horny and wet. Can't wait till you get here just for her to ghost him when he got there. Also. For some reason he had the gumption to not book the hotel she suggested. When I was a teenager I ducked a jar of jelly. It wasn't fun. I honestly can't pinpoint an exact thing. But the amount of shame I felt upon reading the question I'm pretty sure it should be forgotten. Got caught with pants down. A Filipino scammer catfished me and recorded me masturbating. He threatened to send the video to everyone on my friends list on Facebook. I stalled him for a while till I could delete all of my socials. Lesson. Privacy settings are a thing for a reason. Losing my virginity outdoors while having the flu. Not only that. We ended up screwing in a bed of nettles. I didn't notice because it was so dark outside. My ass and thighs were covered in nettle stings and they itched 4 weeks after. Go back to my ex. Tried to use mobile phone as vibrator. Washed mobile after use. Mobile died. A. B. Jerking off with sponge. That didn't go well. Friend back in high school relayed to me that ducking a microwave banana peel with olive oil inside of it feels like a vagina. So naturally having then never tried a real human vagina I grabbed a banana for a snack after coming home one day and stashed the peel away. When nobody was home I grabbed that peel. Olive oiled it up. 
and microwaved for about a minute. Way. 2. Duck eyeing. Long. Asterisk. In my excitement I dropped tro and penetrated the scalding peel burning the shti out of my wiener. It was terrible. Absolutely zero stroke 10 wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Suffice to say that it felt nothing like a real vagina. Ducked a cup with two sponges in it. I dck started bleeding. You are supposed to use the yellow parts not the green part. Not me. But my brother. Came home from school one day and find a hairbrush sitting on the counter. The handle covered in Vaseline. I immediately knew what that meant. And didn't look any closer at it. Skip to a week or two later. I walk into the bathroom and this old antique plunger we have was in the way of the toilet. I go to move it out of the way. But when I touch it I find it is also covered in Vaseline. I quickly washed my hand and left to find another bathroom. Stole my brother's Maxim magazine and got caught. Got us both in trouble with that one. I ducked a stuffed toy as a kid. Tried sticking my joint into a shampoo bottle flaxseed and let it get hard inside of it. Left one booty calls house after finishing to drive to another booty calls house. Who lived further away from me than I thought and I accidentally crossed a toll bridge in my mom's car so a month later she sat me down asking what the hell I was doing across the toll bridge in her car at 2am. That was a nice convo. Buy multiple deal dos. I didn't really regret buying them afterwards but thinking how I only bought them because I was horny is still a little stupid. Lmao I've horny shopped for dildos also. But caught myself getting wild. It's like grocery shopping when you're hungry. I may or may not have ducked a really SZI looking tree successfully. Didn't even buy me dinner first. Was having some substance enhanced SX with my ex and we were both so into it I told her I was gonna come in a shot glass and she was going to shoot it. As soon as the load came. I vividly remember grabbing the shot from her hands and said no baby. You're not doing that. Edit. Grabbed the shot from her hands and said no baby. You're not doing that. I am. JK that shot of nastiness went down the toilet. Thought you were gonna say no baby. Post nut empathy. Leave my calculus II class. Jerk off in the school bathroom. And return to class like nothing happened. Dude. You reminded me of this time when I was sick. I was in Calc 3. Nodding off. Cause Calc 3 is boring. And I was doing fine anyway. So I always saw Calc as nap time. Anyway. I'm nodding off. And all of a sudden I get a violent urge to vomit. And as my head snaps forward I let out a gagging noise. That didn't sound bad to me. But I hauled us out of there. Got to a toilet and threw up. I walked back into class feeling fine. And everyone starts dying laughing. Eventually my friend told me that the noise I had made before stopping myself from throwing up was like the moan of a femboy suddenly getting it in the ass. So now I live with the knowledge that there are about 200 kids out there whose only idea of me is the kid who moaned and then ran to the bathroom probably to jerk off or some shti. When I was 15 I lost my virginity to a girl who was 14. I was so stupid and wanted it to happen again I ended up buying her a hamster and a cage with toys and food. Why did horniness lead you to purchase a rodent? Pleasured myself at the beach. I was in the water. I tried to duck the holes in a shower drain in Belgium. Even with my relatively undeveloped semi-hard teenage DCK I couldn't make it fit. My aunt was waiting to use the shower and I wasted so much time trying to jam it in there. WTF man. Once I jilled off for a long time. And came so hard I twisted my knee. I limped for a week. Had to tell co-workers I had tripped and fallen. I read the Twilight series because the girl I liked was really into it. The worst part is that I ended up loving them more than the girl. Don't duck an Arby's cheddar melt. Please. I was a shy and weird 11 year old who's got a huge crush on two of the prettiest girls in class. Rode my bike to an abandoned bridge. Wrote my crush's names on my penis and whispered I love you. Ella. I love you. 
Joanne. WTF. I didn't expect this to blow up. I'm so embarrassed lol. Yeah okay. It was really weird. I cringe a lot when I think of it. I don't know how to explain. I guess cause I was really shy and with a super religious family I thought it was something brave to do. I dunno. And it was on an abandoned bridge so no one could hear me. I used a blue pen. I'm B now. Tried to take a DLDO that was way too big up my ass with minimal prepping or stretching. Ended up literally tearing myself a new asshole. Still dealing with an anal fissure which makes pooping really painful and which is probably gonna last 4 weeks at the very least. Edit. To the people who gave this comment the wholesome award. I appreciate you. Truly. But Jesus ducking Christ dudes you're awarding an overzealous horn dog. This sounds. Took a nude using my Skype camera and accidentally set it as my profile picture. I have never moved so fast as I did in the 10 seconds after that moment. My ex sucked my DCK outside near some gardens in our hometown around late afternoon. We were naive and horny so we didn't really think about someone catching us. We hid behind a tree and she did her thing. A few minutes in we hear someone laughing behind us only to see there was an elderly couple walking past us about 50 meters away. We stopped. Went to a different place outside and I could finally shoot it out. I jizzed into a tea towel that didn't belong to me whilst I was sofa surfing. To this day the close friends I have that know of this incident joke that I am not allowed near anyone's tea towels. Joke. Put my penis in a running vacuum hose to see what a blowjob would feel like. Edit. My first gilding. Of course it's on a comment about my attempt to turn my vacuum into a vacuum. Used shampoo as lube to jerk off. Goddamn that burned. Try icy hot next time. Trust me. I'm an internet stranger. Misread the titles as stupidest thing your homies made you do. WTF. Your homies made you jerk off with a sponge? Got a pukey blowjob and ended up with a UT for months. I'm talking green pus coming out of my cock like artificial guacamole. I had so many medications turn my PSS different colors. Orange. Red. Green. Blue. But in the end it was me getting dehydrated one day and drinking a bunch of fireball whiskey. My stoned ass was going to fight this thing with fire from the inside. I'm going to say that at the end of the day it was the medication. But that one day of letting loose with the fireball was where it kinda turned around and disappeared. Then when it was all gone I started dating again and I met the person I'm going to marry. So that was dope. I think most of us are the result of the stupidest thing our parents did because of horniness. I once wanked over a drop dunny in a national park and got an infection. I hooked up with a clearly crazy older woman at work when I was in my 20s. She didn't tell me she was back with her ex, fiance, and eventually he found out. So then I broke it off and was sexually harassed on and off by her for the next few months until I quit for other reasons. Edit. Since I'm getting some questions on this, the stupidity on my part here is 1. Hooking up with a coworker. 2. Willingly knowing there would probably be consequences based on her personality. Simply because I wanted to fulfill the older woman fantasy. I also want to add that it was a smallish company and it most definitely got out. Dr. Banana Peel. Made a milkshake with the nana after. At 15 wise years of age. I opted for Vicks Vapo Rub instead of Vaseline to rub one out. After 30 seconds of furious stroking I realized the severity of my mistake. Sht burned for hours. On a side note my love gun smelled like mint for a day. Keep talking to my ex. Became a drug dealer to get in with some girls. I can't tell you how many times I've almost been late to things because I wanted to jerk off real quick before I left. Edit. This is why I love Reddit. My first award ever. And because of me jerking off. Slept with my best friend while drunk. I was 14 and jerked off in class. Someone probably seen you but didn't say anything. 
I ducked a suede lazy boy sofa on ecstasy. All the other people at the party paired off and I laid down on the sofa. It was nice. Was also drunk. Me and my boyfriend almost don't remember what exactly happened but we tried an L. Without lube and only spit. Three days later my ass still kinda hurts. Edit. Why the duck is this my best comment? Granted I was pretty drunk. But I invited two men over at the same time. Without realizing it. And they showed up at the same time. And we all work together. Four things. A glove. Lube of some kind. Warm towel. And a rubber band. I am sturbated during a state standardized test in school because I was so horny I couldn't focus. I failed of course. When I was younger. I was super horny and opened the fridge to find a lubricant. For some reason my eyes scanned to the medium salsa. This ended with tears and running water over my urethra. Not pleasant. I jerked off using peppermint shampoo. Back in the days before internet-ish. Around age 16. I somehow managed to get a PRN magazine. I ripped a single page out, the best of all the pages, and took it with me to the bathroom. I also needed a shower at this time which worked out well. Two birds. On stone. Well in the heat of the moment the page ended up being brought into the shower. Two hours later while playing a random Nintendo game it dawned on me that I left it in the shower, hanging on the shower wall around eye level. I panicked and ran in there to discover it was gone. I was totally mortified. I will never know which of my three family members discovered it, no one ever mentioned it. But for over 20 years. I've hoped and prayed it wasn't my extremely religious grandmother. That magazine was one of those back alley gas station PRNS2. The kind they'd put behind all the other ones with the darkened plastic on it to hide the cover page. Half the people in it didn't even trim their junk. It was some heavy shitty man. Not me but I caught an older guy in my elementary school bathroom beating it in front of a urinal. Edit. 450. Yo thank you all so much. But still a bit concerning how my most recognized comment is about a dude beating his meat in my school. Joint Reddit. Using an electric toothbrush in place of a vibrator. I once had a friend when I was 18. He told me he was gonna get me laid. At a 46 year old woman in a Safeway parking lot. We ducked later that day. I can't say it was good. It was weird. There was like 4 people in the house. While I'm tapping it. They all introduced themselves. I'm not sure even I knew what kind of situation I was in. After she fed me. Drank gave me a 6 pack of beer and a half of a pack of cigarettes. I guess in my mind I was like score. Raw dog a hooker. Bruh. I tried jerking off with icy hot. Dated a homophobe for 2 months. I am bissizzle. Pulled a quick fap in my mom's car at a busy gas station while she was inside paying for gas once. I was like 14 at the time. But hey. Didn't get caught. Hoover. Don't need to say much more right? M sturbated with a beer bottle because I didn't have a toy with me. For some reason I figured if it was full. And opened. It was less likely to break. There is one guy one jar. Sending dick pics. Made me feel like people cared about me when they just wanted to use me. An assault isn't on you. Please don't blame yourself. When I was in my early teens. I would fill up the bathtub and mix it with shampoo or some sort of liquid soap. I would then proceed to lay face down and rub myself against the soapy bathtub to jerk myself off until I reached climax. Slept with, and somewhat dated, a homophobic and bigoted woman. She was also a terrible mother. But damn. The SX was good. Staying with my exes. Bricking multiple computers. Before the existence of reliable free sites. You're just go link hopping from site to site to site. Window shopping. Sometimes you'd go the wrong site. 
An alert would pop up saying you have a virus and need to download this antivirus to fix it. You are a dumb teenager who knows nothing about computers so you end up downloading said anti-virus. And boom. Computer is now bricked. Obligatory not me but a dude I know. He once ducked this girl without a condom. Couldn't wait for one. Or go get one. Just had to duck. Nine months later this little shti is born. Now. Nearly 16 years later. That little shti is typing some response to RS credit post. Pretend to be interested in yoga. Come inside my ex-wife. As the ex-wife in this story thank you. I love our child. P Run Hub stopped processing my credit card payments. So I asked Reddit to tell me stories I could beat my meat to. Drove through a blizzard when I was 17. Drunk. Hooked up with a guy right outside on the porch of his apartment. It made sense to me at the time because he didn't want to wake his roommate and they lived in a studio apartment where there weren't separate rooms for them to not hear us. Come to find out later. My ex fiancé was a SX addict. The SX with him was incredible. And my libido outpaced his so we were constantly turning each other on. It was mind-blowingly wonderful. Unfortunately. He was my first serious relationship. I didn't realize that SX was the only thing keeping us together. I let my horniness get the better of me. And we got engaged. I had completely ignored the gaslighting. Manipulation. Love bombing. And insults. He was also cheating on me. Manifestation of the addiction. But constantly denied it and got angry at me for not trusting him. So. Yeah. Don't let your horniness trap you in a toxic relationship. I'm still struggling from the effects of the abuse 4 years after the fact. Jump off a balcony I cut my leg open and broke a couple of my ribs. Resort to a Stolfo PRN. I fail to see how that's a bad thing. Was in a seminary as a priest for a year. Then dropped out because I wanted to sleep with this girl I met there. When I was around 5-6, I'm currently 18. And when my mom was at the job I would put on a DVD with a prank show that had naked tits in it and I would lick the TV like nipples. The TV was one of those old ones that have that buzzy feeling when you touch it. When I was 14 I would sneak out of the house almost nightly and walk 15 minutes to my girlfriend's house and we would duck like rabbits. Got to the point where we were getting about an hour or two of sleep a night. Eventually her mom got suspicious and would check in sometimes. And I'd be hiding naked in her closet. Well when she got wise to that I'd hop out her window sometimes butt ass naked and one night she saw me and I had to run home in the middle of December butt ass naked. 12 years later and we're not together anymore but we're still great friends. Are to be young. Dumb and full of cum.